Welcome back, everyone. Just want to give you a quick update on what's been going on around here over the last week. So I got the second floor lighting circuit done. And I'm in here in the little bedroom above the steps. Got a working switch and light. Over in the master bedroom, same thing, switch with light. In the bedroom in the back that you saw me working on last week, that's working. And over in the bathroom, it's a complete disaster, but uh, got a working light and fan. So let me give you the backstory on what happened here. I found so many things wrong in such a small area. It's just mind boggling. Number one, when I pulled the light off the wall in the bathroom, this is what I found. Just a wire coming through a hole in the wall. No, you can't do that. It has to go through a junction box like this. So whenever you have a wire or two wires or three wires coming together, tied together with wire nuts, it has to be in a junction box. There's no other way around it. Number two, the wires have been stripped back way too far. We got about an inch or so stripped back. You need about a half an inch. Now the reason that's a problem is when the wire nut gets put on there, there is a lot of extra sticking out the bottom. So the problem with that is if that touched a neutral or a ground, that could cause a spark or a fire. Number three, there's no insulation in the top of these three bays. Um, there's insulation from here down, but nothing from there up. I'm guessing they just ran out. Number four, instead of drilling holes for the studs to run the wires, they just cut big notches in them instead. Now these notches go to about halfway back, which makes these studs about half as strong as they used to be. You can't do that. Number five, when I pulled the drywall off the wall, I found this wire pinched between the drywall and the stud. I guess they forgot to put one of those notches in. Number six, when they drilled the holes for these wires, they put them too close to the outside edge of this plate. They're probably a quarter to a half inch in from the outside edge, when they really should be as close to the center as possible. So what they failed to do here was nail on uh, plates like this, one over each wire. And what that does is it prevents a nail or a screw that holds a drywall on from penetrating one of these wires causing a short or a fire. Number seven, they used the wrong type of staple to hold the wire inside the wall. If you look at the two on the left, these are the right type of staples. And you can see that the spacing from one side to the other is a lot farther apart than this one over here. So if you look at that wire, you can see there's damage on both sides of the casing caused by that staple. And that damage could have caused a short or a fire inside the wall. That's why this staple is used to attach wire on fences for cows and horses. And finally, number eight, which is the funniest one of them all. So you see that outlet down there by the floor? It's connected all the way up here to a junction box, which I think was supposed to be an outlet. And then it goes out uh, to that wire, which is hanging out on the right. And uh, that used to connect up to the bathroom exhaust fan. So I need to draw you a diagram of how I found all this wire together. So if this is the outlet by the floor, and up here is that weird junction box thing, and the wire that came out of it, which used to go to the bathroom fan. So all three of these things are connected together, but what's missing here? There's no power going into it, which means this thing never worked. So it seems obvious to me that whoever wired up this bathroom had no idea what they were doing. In the last video, I said that things have been a little stressful around here lately, and that was the reason why I hadn't put up a video in about four weeks. So the good part of that stress is I have a renter for this house. The bad part is, is I now have to work a whole lot faster in order to get them in by the beginning of June. Um, the thing that really slows me down on this project is the video. It uh, takes a while for me to set the camera up for the shot, uh, I have to think of what I have to say, then I have to do whatever I have to do in that shot, and then finally I have to edit all the video together to make a final video. Um, all of that takes three to four times longer than it would if I were just to not work in front of a camera. So I still want to continue doing videos, but um, I'm just going to not do as much detail as I've done in the past. I'm thinking that's what it's going to take in order to get me back on schedule again. Um, there's more. I, uh, I am part of a company which owns and maintains rental property. 
Uh, I am their one and only maintenance guy, with the exception of some friends that help me from time to time. About three weeks ago, um, we got one of the properties back uh, with an order of possession. And uh, it doesn't look good. It needs a lot of work. So uh, let's go on a little tour over there and you can see what I'm talking about. All right, let me set the mood for you. It is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, minus four Celsius, and it smells like a cat box that hasn't been cleaned in about a year. So here we go on the tour. This is the living room. As you can see, it's full of trash. All right, what do we got here? These are some, looks like end tables, some unpaid bills. Yeah, don't need that. Oh, here's a fish tank. A frozen fish tank. Uh, yeah, there's a fish in there, so that's not good. These people were fish murderers. Over here, what do we got? We got some trash. Uh, there's some fish food, so at least they might have been feeding the fish. Okay, over here, old boot and a sock. There's a blanket, box of mac and cheese, box of food items. Here's a kid's crib. Got some dirty diapers over there, all right. Over here we got a juice box. Uh, more trash, more dirty diapers, okay. That's the, uh, that's the tour of the living room. Let's go on to the dining room. Couple of bags of trash. Some plywood wooden thing, I don't know what that is. There's the vacuum cleaner they never used. Let's see, trash, more trash, a blender, more unpaid bills. Okay, oh, Pepto-Bismol, you're gonna need that, yep. Okay, over here, what do we got? Oh, I missed the best part. Here's a nice uh, smash in the wall. Looks like someone got thrown into there. Here's another one right there. What's over here? These are all the contents of the refrigerator because they stole my refrigerator. Real nice. Okay. Oh, there's some trash in the corner. What do we got over here? Empty box. Some food items left in the cupboard. Yeah, ooh, a sink full of dirty dishes. Look at that. All right. Junk under the cupboard, missing drawer. The stove isn't that dirty, that's surprising. Guess they don't know how to cook. Okay, what's over here? Yep, miscellaneous appliances, dirty pots, old bottle of alcohol, yeah, empty, of course. Lots of trash, half-eaten burger. Okay, next room. This is a little hallway between the bathroom and what was the laundry room, which is now boarded over with a fence and some other junk. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay. Smashed in cupboard. They didn't take the trash out. That's a surprise. What do we got over here? Razor blades and pills. Okay. Dirty bathtub. What's in the cupboards? Looks like some hair trimmers. What's in this one? Oh, yeah, old Walmart bag. Missing the uh, cover for the heater duct. Wonder where that went to. All right, let's go out of the back room here. Got a old dog kennel. A garbage bag with garbage just spewed out of it. Okay, I got a baby carrier, some plastic, garbage bags. Uh, looks like a mattress and a heater. All right, wonder what's around the corner. Can you guess? All right, let's all say it together. More garbage. All right, look at this. What do we got? Kids' toys. Uh, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Let's get a baby swing, maybe. Um, 
paint tray with paint still stuck in it. Broken bottles over here. That's cool. All right. Let's work our way over to the garage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Look at this. Oh, dirty dishes in a in a bucket. Look at that. That's useful. Don't don't wash the dishes. Just uh, just throw them in a bucket. There you go. Oh, what's out here? Okay, garbage bag. That's unused. Huh? They could have filled that with garbage. What's over here? Broken glass. That's garbage. A dirty pan. Garbage. More garbage. All right. Got some uh, nails that went into a nail gun. Those are all smashed and useless. That's cool. What's over here? A pile of garbage. Wow. Here's some scraps of wood. Ah, oh, applesauce. I bet that's dead. All right. Hey, someone left me, oh, at least 20 tires. Gotta love that. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, this is neat. This is uh, cement, which is hardened in the bag, so it's totally useless. It's just a bunch of rocks now. That's, that's excellent. All right. Some dirty boxes. I don't know. Don't even want to get into it. Let's go back into the house. Ah, garbage bag. There's a hole in the floor. Look at that. All right. Broken door over there. My mom's favorite line from The Simpsons is uh, from an episode where the, the kids got taken away by uh, social workers and I think they got placed with, this, with the Flanders family. And uh, so Homer and Marge had to go take a, uh, a class of how to become better parents. And uh, the guy teaching the class, he said this, this one thing my mom tells me every now and then. And he said, I can't stress this enough, people. The garbage belongs in the garbage can. <laughs> that is so true. Here is the little bedroom. Not much in here. Got an unused garbage bag. No surprise there. What do we got? Uh, some clothes. Here's a drawer. Uh, ripped up uh, wrapping paper. Okay, let's go into this bedroom here. What do we got? This is a... Um, Looks like a broken Lazy Boy or some kind of recliner. Oh, I got a broken lamp down here, shattered glass on the floor, followed by a bag of garbage. Wow. What's over here? I have no idea. Just kids' toys and stuff strewn about. Lots of stuff. Hard to believe people can live in this. There's another fish tank. No dead fish in this one, though. And we got a big 30-inch television, something like that. Oh, you can't put those out for garbage. You gotta take them to an electronics recycling place, and that costs 50 bucks plus for TV of that size. What do we got? Let's see. A lovely stain on the carpet. Not like it matters, it's all coming up anyway. Got some dirty dishes here, dirty diapers there, another garbage bag that never got used. It's like they didn't understand the garbage belongs in the garbage bag. Unbelievable. All right. Moving on. Let's go to the last bedroom. Oh, a bag of garbage. Look at that. Okay. Oh, got uh, a couple of socks. Kids clothing, dirty diaper, always those. Dirty diapers go in a garbage bag. Can't they figure that out? Some kind of a uh, plywood thing, I don't know what that is. There's a broken dresser drawer there. Some Christmas lights, a lovely stain in the carpet. A couple of socks, and clothes. It's a kid's toy of some kind, I don't know what that is. Oh, more dirty clothes, dirty clothes. Hey, there's the broken dresser with all the parts uh, in a couple different rooms. Okay, okay. This is the uh, cable modem for the cable service around here. I guess uh, 
that should have been returned, but okay, what's over here? This is a closet off the uh, master bedroom filled with garbage, huh? Got some clothes here, uh, kid's toy, more clothes, whole bunch of hangers, Christmas paper, a bottle of tea, at least I hope that's a bottle of tea. What's over here? Uh, not much else. Old license plate down there in the corner. Okay, that's it. I've managed to get through it all somehow. Okay, what do we got? This is my um, this is my 150 year old black walnut um, handrail and balusters. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five of them kicked out. And then they cracked the part up here, so this is really wobbly. Bunch of morons. Okay, and I think there's one more baluster kicked out at the bottom here. Oh, what do we do? Yep, there it is. Missing right there, and they replaced it with a piece of plywood. Okay, that, uh, that completes the house tour. Lots of garbage. Wasn't that just disgusting? I can't believe there are people out there that want to live like that. I guess the part that bothers me the most is they had kids living in that mess. Well, anyway... I don't want to leave you on such a bad note, so here's a video of Caesar and my other dog JJ helping me eat my lunch. I know. Saying much today. Right, right. I know. Mm -hmm. Do you like a tomato? Sit. There you go. Go, DJ. You look like you want to say mm -hmm. something. I see. No, 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 no. Okay, last piece. Good job, you sat down. You go. JJ, lay there like a slug. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Last one. Good job. Time to lick the plate.
Easy, your turn. Okay. And that's lunch with Caesar.